In today's video, I'm actually going to take a look at a setup where we are late to the party, but the party's not over yet. And I have to tell you that in the last few months, I think I only had maybe three cell setups in this market. Uh, one was in AT&T and, uh, well, this one. So let's look at um, REGN. And there's one thing that I see here that stands out, and that's the symmetry. If you look at this overall pattern, it's a bearish pattern of lower lows and lower highs. And there is symmetry here. And by that, I mean that the prior rally swings are similar to each other, you know, before the market had rolled over again. So, for example, you had this rally at 4361, this at 4635, this one at 5053, and this one of um, 4364. So those swings were pretty, pretty similar. And if you had run the projections of those from that last low, that's where those red lines come in. But besides that, there are also a couple of other things. Well, one is that there's also a confluence of a 618 retracement of a prior high to low swing that came into this zone. And then there was also a 1618 extension of a prior minor high to low swing. So, you know, there was a cluster. So besides just the symmetry, we also saw a retracement. We also saw an extension. And you can see that we have started to roll over from that area. One more thing, though, there were also uh, cycles there. So if you took uh, this prior high to high, 1618 came in on Jan 5th. This um, high to low swing, 1618 came in on Jan 3rd. And then we had, actually, this was a low to low swing. Uh, 1272 came in on uh, Jan 4th. So you had cycles between the 3rd through the 5th for a possible high as you traded up into this resistance. And again, um, you know, that's where you had time and price come together, and there have been sell triggers since then. But you're late to the party, so what can you do? Well, just because you're late to the party doesn't mean it's over yet, because if this pattern is going to repeat itself as it has before by basically, you know, pulling back, rolling over, pulling back, rolling over, pulling back, well, it has the potential to trade down to this 341.26 area. So I don't want you to sell it here and risk above here, but what I do want you to look at in the next couple of days is watch for a symmetrical pullback on a shorter time frame chart and then wait for a sell trigger and then you can take that trade so it's not a ridiculous amount of um, risk because you don't have the edge if you sell it right here. So again, I'm going to be looking at pullbacks in the next um, couple of trading days and then see if it gives me a new sell trigger for a continuation of a decline towards that 341 area.